Candice, hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Ruby and Oceana and Andraste and Haz and Maz and Fresh Flowers and Polly and Dennis. Hello, good evening. Annie with an L, Mud Slicker. Jeanette, Raina, Stephanie, hello. Unicorn, hello. Steph, hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. Depending on where you are on this beautiful planet, thank you so much for joining me if you had another ad hoc live stream. Happy Monday, everybody. I hope you all had a fabulous weekend, and I hope you're having a fabulous Monday, either morning and or evening, depending on where you are. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we're going to play a little bit of catch up. We've got three pieces of content from the one, the only, the foodie beauty, Miss Chantal Marie, and where's Ambi? Chat, where's Ambi? Oh, goodness, look at me. I'm looking a mess. Um, where's Ambi? What's going on with Ambi? Last time I heard from Ambi, well, she was taking us to bingo, but she also got ghosted. Ambi got ghosted. Oh no. I want, where's that drama, mama? Where's that, where's that live stream? I want that live stream. Why, why, why have we not, <laughs> she's over on Instagram, you're not wrong, you dear. Um, she's on the prowl. Uh, it's disappointing. It's disappointing because that would have been such a fun story to tell. Not Maybe not a fun story. I mean, that's never fun for anyone, but just an interesting story. You know? Ambie's been ghosted, so she's ghosted us and has his payback. That's what it is, for sure. Anyway, today we're going to be reacting to Great Steak, Cheesecake, Cheese Fries and Mozza Sticks, Mukbang and Bonus Vlog. See, when I read this one, I saw I read it as bonus meal. We'll talk about it when we get into it, I guess. Followed by a homemade Canadian poutine recipe. Spoilers, it's slop. Uh, and then we're going to move on to Chandel's latest upload, which was just 10 hours ago. Tuna sub, buffalo chicken, bites, and chips mukbang. I must have been all over the shop today, but she's she's gone back to back. Double mukbangs in four hours. Huh, interesting. Anyway, anyway. Sorry, I just read in her description, it says, buy a cameo now and receive a personalized blah, 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 right? But I said that, I read that as buy a Camaro, like the car. I'm not very familiar with cars, but that made me laugh. Um, anyway, hi, my name's Zach. Lovely to meet you if you're new, and thank you very much for returning if you are coming back. Pardon me, I am not a mental or physical health care professional, just a guy lost my talks about things on the internet, which is way too much for beauty. I'm also not here to bully shame my head harass or humiliate, just here to talk about the produced and monetized content that we see here on this platform, because it's all about what choices, choices about what we say, choices about what we put in the internet, choices, Yadira, you're asking a question, I got the cactus, well that's not a question actually, that's a statement, an exclamation, yes it is, I've got, uh, I bought the cactus, it's got glasses and a fun hat, <laughs> I made my own choice. Anyway, um, I guess we better get into it. NS, oh, thank you for gifting 10 channel memberships, mate. That's very kind of you. That's not at all required, but very much appreciated. Thank you so much. Uh, and welcome, or welcome back to Raina Runs in Circles, Cat, uh, Stephen, hello, nice to see you. Welcome back to Z's, Stephanie, Hot Chip, great name, Angie, Tiny Ghost, and Thick Bottom Pan, a pleasure as always, Thick Bottom Pan. Harriet, hello, lovely to see you. I don't know if I've said hello to you ever before. Hello, Harriet. I think that's everybody. Everybody, if you received a channel membership, please make sure you thank the lovely NS for their gifted generosity. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. And welcome, everyone. You'll, you'll get um, access to fun emojis. I have not put the dancing cactus into an emoji yet. Don't worry. Things are in the works. <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, let's get started with this cheese steak. Not to be confused with cheesecake. Mmm, cheesecake. All right. Let's get going. Cassiandra, hello. Good to see you. All right, let's go. This intro. I hate it. This intro with no music. I have, I feel like I've clicked into this thing like four times thinking that my headphones aren't working. You know that feeling when you gaslight yourself? That. That's what I've got. Don't, no open flames. Hey there, beezers. No, boo. No, we're starting off, we're starting off badly. <laughs> Hi guys, g'day. You asked for a kazoo emoji and we delivered. Actually, um, now you can access all of these fun emojis from the Poppy Syntax channel membership. And I'm not gonna show you a website, but you can just click that button down there to join or not. It's up to you. But thanks for being in there. Shout out to Mick, I hope you're well. Uh, what's this, 6.30 AM, Alhamdulillah. I get to live another day on this wonderful earth. Oh, well, she's in a good mood. Also, hello, Julia. She loves her wet food, don't we all? Oh, what a cute little bean. All cats and dogs are beans, I don't make the rules. It's all about legumes. Howie's breakfast. I haven't turned the music off, she just didn't put it in. 
How his breakfast is two salted peanuts, probably not great for a hamster, some cucumber and some carrot. Very good. Unsalted peanuts. Are they unsalted though? I don't trust it. Why is there water in that dish? So many questions. Time for my coffee. Nest Cafe knockoff. Caffelino. Three in one. How delightful. Why do these boxes look all banged up? Clearance. No shade. I love me a yellow sticker. I'm just noticing the bottoms of the boxes are all crinkled. That's what the spine of a book is meant to look like. All right, we've got a kettle. Yep, this is... Uh, you know what, Foodie? You really could have gone in and maybe, oh, I don't know, edited this to include music at some point in time. Hey, shenanigans, good to see you. Ooh, we're in the pantry. Hold on. Everyone hold the phone. See how it's all creasy? Anyway, it, does, it really doesn't matter. Ooh, what's in here? Baking powder. Pasta. Pasta. More pasta and more pasta. I'm sorry, chat. Can you all count? It's like a fucking... Whoop, swear job. It's like a where's Wally in this cupboard. Who can find me the pasta? <laughs> I believe that was the chicken broth kettle. Yes, yes, that's the one. <laughs> How many bags of pasta do you see? That's the question. I don't need to put a poll up. Four? I think it's four. Five? Five? Where's the fifth one? <laughs> you think five? One, two, three, four, or maybe five. Interesting. There's no sound, so that doesn't help us at all. What is that bottle? Grass-fed collagen. Right, work. Oh, there's spaghetti on top of the baking powder. Aha! Good eye, everyone. That is five bags of pasta. Oh, she'll never run out. Again, ma'am, we really did the bare minimum today, didn't we? <laughs> Hold on, wait, I can make this better. I don't know when she starts talking. Oh, uh, pretty soon. Hold on, if I... Wait. Ah, oh. oh, no, hold on. Why didn't I do this bit sooner? Hold on. Hold on, everyone, hold on. Cheesesteak. Oh, she returns it quickly. <laughs> <laughs> this kazoo was the greatest invention in the history of mankind. <laughs> Lydia, thank you for the super chat, lovely. Lydia says, this reminds me of a grocery order I made recently while stoned and I managed to purchase five varieties of mac and cheese. It's pretty similar. Foodie got them diff separate though, because she already said she ate the cheese. Remember that plate of cheese we were watching the other day from the microwave? That was apparently a block, a block of melted cheese. That's a lot. Thank you for the super chat, Lydia. I appreciate it and hope you're having a fabulous day. <laughs> hi, guys. Oh, hi. You're loud. I'm in a super good mood. And I'm not. Because I had a super good day. Loud, I mean. I am in a and, good mood. And uh, now I'm about to eat some super good so food, loud. even though it's probably not the healthiest. Well, no, it's not. Let's not. Okay. It's, it's fried fat and carbs. Good. Let's not. There's some protein in this, sure. But a balanced meal, this is not. A beat around the bush. Sure. I don't know if that's the right expression. Anyway, so. Adele, hello, lovely to see you. Thank you for being here for 29 months, mate. Oh, wow, 29 months. Wow, I'd love to your love right back, Adele. Thanks for hanging out. Lovely to see you today. I hope you had a good weekend. Oh, I have great steak. Don't you, don't you, go. She wants to knock over the camera and be a beezer, don't you? Don't you? <laughs> I want her to swipe the sandwich. <laughs> yeah. It's slop, Morgan. No yeah. food for yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, no, the next one's going to be slop. This anyway, is, this is maybe, yeah, you not can have so the, the bonus sandwich. Great Steak is one of my favorite restaurants here. Is it? Okay. 
Right. That's a weird statement. The cheesesteak. Forgive me if I'm incorrect, but Foodie is about to consume just a hot dog bun filled with steak and cheese, right? Isn't that what it is? I'm sure there's meant to be like onions and peppers or something else in there. Yeah? No? I don't know. They're cheese fries. Oh, of course. Couldn't have a potato not covered in cheese. They're cheese sticks. Uh Uh-huh. Why are there some missing, ma'am? With ranch and marinara. There's only five in there. How many comes in a box? And a bonus sandwich. Of course a bonus sandwich. Of course. It came with it. It's like a deal. You get like a free burger if you order a certain meal deal. This feeds two people, right? Am I crazy? This is a meal deal for two. Right? You get like a half a... A half a sandwich each. You get a side each. You get a sauce each. And then the mysterious additional burger. But there should be a second Pepsi... And I'm really confused because you have a little tub of tomato sauce here, but you also have Heinz, like, ketchup packets here as well. Ma'am, I have a lot of questions about today's mukbang. Which I did. So, let's crack this open, bismillah, and get to... Hey. Oh, fair voodoo. Good to know. It doesn't look great, to be honest. You cannot have the burger. She's tr- Chantel's out here making baguettes. She could, like, probably make this from scratch much better. Trying to steal the whole burger. Ketchup on the cheese fries. Okay, baby gal, are you like loco or what? Let's have a check. How many glizzies one? Yeah, <laughs> How many glizzies? I don't think so. <laughs> baby gal. Anyway. No cheese pull. Disappointed. Mmm, still good though. So how are you guys today? I'm fine, mm. how are you? Oh Jesus. There we go. I swear I saw her practice this maneuver just a couple of weeks ago. Days ago. So how are you guys today? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Oh, it's not, it's not ketchup. It's, um, it's marinara sauce. Mmm. Oh, look at this nincompoop. Look at this face. The least likable face. What it is. Yeah, not a likable face. A dingus. That's that's a great word, Ennis. What's her right eye doing? I don't know. That's a really good question. We have... Look, I mean, we were doing this the other day. Looking at Chantal's eyes, thinking, who is this? Who's this person? We don't know her. Who is it? Like, honestly, look, if I, if we put it there, who's that? (laughs) Mm. There we go. Mm. She's placated now. We've got the takeout in the house. Everything's fine. I could not cook today. Well. A person without a nose. (laughs) (laughs) By the time we got home, I edited my vlog. Go check it out. The camel vlog? That one? You got in the car, went for a drive to the desert, saw some camels, turned around, came home. Was that it? Was that the day? Was that your very busy day? Okay. I did another- Oh my god, we're watching this at normal speed. Holy Jesus, no. The camel. That's what it was. Um, Hey, Lottie. (laughs) I was like, I just really don't feel like cooking today. Uh Uh-huh. Chantel, every day. Oh, she even put the card in. Ew. Mm. All right, like get ready the... for the... This isn't called a glizzy. What do you all call a cheesesteak? Cut it in half. Is it just called a cheesecake steak, or does it have a really fun name? 
<laughs> Eat a bite. Cheese steak. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so. Ma'am, can you ever eat anything without wearing half of the sauce on your face? The answer's no. We know the answer. The answer's no. Not much else. It's only one right now. I... I'm so busy, you guys. I'm so tired from such a big day out. Oh my god, there's not much really going on, you guys. Right. Feeling a lot better, like I said yesterday. Still feeling well. It's been like three days since you wanted to get a divorce, ma'am. I... <laughs> What's the point? I have bad days, but alhamdulillah, I'm able to pick myself up. We bought a new car. Okay, someone's gonna have to walk me through this. Three cars in like six months, right? A year? When did they... No, he had the car and then he got a new car like... Yeah, it must have been like six months ago. And now there's a third car. Chat, help me out. What's going on? What's going on with the the car shuffling? What's, what's this about? Shenanigans, it's not. And it's very loud in my ears. Well... <laughs> So last car, <laughs> but I'll be going in it for sure, <laughs> and he'll take me wherever we want to go. Like a personal driver? <laughs> the new car's not here right now yet, because when you buy a brand new car. Like, and you add cars. It's not normal to buy three cars in a year, right? Right? Three cars and three apartments in a year. It smells shady, Z's. It smells like she doesn't want people to know what they're about. Some things to it. Like color, custom color and stuff. He bought the last SUV used with cash and sold it and now brought a brand new SUV. I don't understand. Do you mean you bought him a new SUV? Why did you get rid of the last SUV? And why did you get rid of the car before that? I have so many questions. Shady. Like whatever features you want. So what, what features are part of the new car? Sometimes they don't have it at the dealership, so. Uh huh. They have to like find one for you and get it ready. This is very confusing and very shady. So we'll show you guys some. I has I can't answer that. Let me get it. <laughs> Turn out it's a rental car. Well, it might be a rental car. It might be like a leased car. It could be anything. I have no idea. Seems like very strange behavior. So I sold the old car. The one we had. Are we sure we saw the back of the car when they did that grocery vlog? Because maybe there is some, like, there is some weight to the Tin Fulbury theory if they got rid of the car before going to Thailand. So. Just someone he knows. Really needed a vehicle. Annie with an L, thank you so much for the super chat, lovely. I hope you're having a great morning. And he says, this, uh, there is a heavy tax on buying vehicles for non-citizens to discourage expats from settling in Kuwait. So dealerships offer three, six, and nine month leases. Okay, that would make a lot of sense. Also, not not taxes in Kuwait. Don't sh tell Chantel. She'll get mad. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Annie. Yeah, I mean, I think there's probably every likelihood that they're, that they're just based on that as well. I guess if they're changing cars every like three to six months, yeah, it would make sense if they're just leasing or renting a car. But what does it matter whether or not they own it or they lease it? Like, it doesn't... It, like, why lie? Seems stupid. Um, Raina, thank you for being here for seven months. Raina says, perfect way to start my birthday off with Poppy. Happy birthday, Raina. Chat, can we get some love uh, and some hearts for Raina celebrating another anniversary around the sun? Happy birthday. And he wasn't happy really with the one, with, with the, that one. Yeah, that one for like three months. So? Six months? Three months. It's 
it's a big car. It's a big truck, like a Jeep SUV. Not Jeep. They they call them Jeeps here, but it's an SUV. We call SUVs Jeeps here. Mashallah. For the new vehicle. So that's going on. That's very true, Annie. You said that very well because it reveals he can't afford a car on his own and that she does not have residency if she can only pay for a lease to him. Interesting point, because I don't know if it's in this one or the next one, she starts talking about her blood work and the STI um, test, and that instantly made my brain go ringy dingy dingy because we had that conversation about how she couldn't gain residency unless she had her bloods done, her health tests, STI tests, etc. So I wonder if she's trying to apply for that stuff now, because for what other reason would Chantel get an STI test in Kuwait? She's only been with her husband for the last 12 months. Ha. Huh. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. Okay. We're going to have a movie night tonight. Well, Yadira, I don't think she can co-sign for anything, not with her status. So I think all she can do is supply money. Hey, Lily. Um. Mm. Who has? That's an interesting question. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. <laughs> has anyone had a real cheesesteak from Philly? No. No, this looks bad, by the way. I've never been to Philly, so. <laughs> Ziz, I don't know. I, I, we had this conversation before. I'm not 100% sure if you need to get the tests on a tourist visa. I'm, I'm fairly certain you don't. Um, I wouldn't be the one to ask. Milk tea would definitely be the one to be able to assist with any kind of conversation around the requirements for that. Um, but I do remember when we were having that discussion that blood tests for things like STIs needed to be had before, um, before residency was a, a conversation, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> it's true shenanigans. I'm just tired. <laughs> it was hot today. 31. For me, anything over 23 is hot. Celsius. Mm. Oh, Annie, that makes sense. I mean, if you're a tourist and you need a car to get around, that would make sense. So it wouldn't be surprising if Chantel was actually getting the cars under her name and just changing them every three months. Ha uh ha! -huh. The ranch. Oh. Well, I wasted it. She seems happy, by the way. <laughs> you guys have a great stick in America? Because it says America's premier cheesesteak. <laughs> you, you are literally wearing cheese as lipstick, ma'am. This I know is going to be so many conspiracy theories about our new car. Well, yeah, we're talking about it. Some people think he's a taxi driver. Like, when you're a taxi driver, don't you like own the same car and just like use that? If it's, if it's a taxi, I guess, but, like, you could just work for Uber and drive your own car or be a personal driver. Like, I don't... It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm more interested in the perfumery, personally, but it's more of a, like, why lie about this or why try to, like, misrepresent the situation. If you're leasing a car, you're leasing a car. Who cares? <laughs> doesn't make sense. But then again... Most conspiracy theories involving my life don't. <laughs> I'm not kind of I don't know. Some of the theories have been pretty close. Funny at this point. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, well, that meal disappeared. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm not going to be eating that uh, bonus burger now. I mean, it, yeah, it'd be a tall order for anyone, I guess. Ooh, Salva, not sure, but we'll talk about it's it when we get to food. Cuba. And, um, I could just put it in the air fryer, though. You know? The burger? I'll to eat it later. Go ahead. At this point in time, she's got no story times, huh? It's just her talking to herself. Hmm. Looks uncomfortable. I wanted to clarify something because I know in one of my previous videos I said that I had my sugar was like six. Y yeah. Excuse me. What I meant by that was. Is this where she's going to yell at us that she's not pre diabetic or diabetic? I feel like it is. I feel like I'm about to be yelled at. Recent. Not too long ago. Like within the past month, I've had my blood tested. Here it is. Okay, so timeline of blood test. Blood tested in the last month. Was that the time she went to the clinic in Thailand then? Jill, hello, I see you. Um, everything was normal. Okay. Except for, yes, my liver enzymes. CBC, everything. Severe, extreme, non-alcoholic, fatty liver disease, knocking on the door. It's not knocking on the door. It's already inside the house, ma'am. All STD tests negative. I have just had a lot of blood work done. Why is she... Okay, chat, help me out. Like I just said. How's the boil? She says here, got my STI tests. Nothing to report. Why is she getting STI tests? Why is she getting STI tests when she's been with no one but Snoopy since they got married? Allegedly last year. The visa, possibly the visa, probably the visa. All right, here's the here's the restructure of the timeline. Went to Thailand, didn't actually reapply for a tourist visa, applies for residency. Applies for residency from outside of the country in Thailand, because we know that that's a requirement, right? She can't change visas while she's in the country. Is in Thailand, nice and easy for each of them to get to and from applies for residency the whole reason it's a six-week holiday instead of like a three-week holiday which is what they were or two-week holiday which they originally prepared was because they were waiting on that goes to the clinic in thailand gets the sti tests etc that are required for the application now has a new car probably under her name because she can if she's a if she's a resident Hmm. Annie, thank you again for the super chat, lovely. You can you can just tag me, but I appreciate this support. Thank you, mate. Hope you're having a good morning. Annie says, FYI, you don't need to be the driver or the homeowner or the person in need of the loan to co-sign any form of financing. Oh, lenders rely on people making better decisions. Mm, that's fair. Maybe Snoopy co-sign. Uh, sorry, maybe Foodie did co-sign to have it in Snoopy's name because, of course, it, had, it has to be in Snoopy's name. So, mm, maybe. You make a good point. Thank you for the super chat, lovely. Uh, and Gloating, thank you for being here for 15 months. Gloating says, Russian girls in Thai. <laughs> Snoopy was out there wild and maybe, I mean, that's the other, that's the flip side of the coin, I guess. Maybe none of this was actually for residency at all because she has kind of dropped that as a talking point, hasn't she? She has, she has kind of dropped a lot of that stuff. Um, but <laughs> flip side of that coin, yeah, maybe the STI test was because Snoopy... <laughs> Snoopy was doing stuff. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Anyway, that's not to shame anyone. Go out, get tested, know your status, be responsible. But also, I'm just trying to put this together because it doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, the only thing that was a little abnormal that one time was my blood pressure, which I don't remember what it was, but um, it depends. Hey, like, sometimes it's high, sometimes it's lower. Um, it's still a bit more elevated than normal, of course, but I mean, I'm overweight, you know, so. I just find that one note particular, like it is sticking in my brain, like a bad song lyric. We know that the STI test needs to happen for residency. Curious. I stress out a lot. There could be a lot of factors, but anyway. I'll show you what the burger looks like. The complimentary cheeseburger. 
Not bad. Um, that's like a... I don't know if it's A1C or glucose random. Yeah, I think see, it's, like... it's not required for short-term visitors, but if she's changing her status, then she needs to apply, and maybe that application was held up a lot longer than previously thought, and that's the reason why we were stuck in Thailand for so long. Like glucose random or something. They test your sugar. Um, and it wasn't fasted. It was maybe... But I had eaten like maybe two hours before. You tell it, Lily. Two hours and a half before I had the test. So not immediately after eating. But, um, you know, mashallah, I'm glad for that. <laughs> um, Lynn, thank you for being here for 23 months, mate. I appreciate it. Lynn says, so they just handed her a burger, like, here. <laughs> Bonus burger, yeah. It's the Laura Foodie. Just just ad additional burgers just show up. Like, maybe two hours before, two hours and a half before. Lottie has a tinfoil beret theory. The real scam is Snoopy getting her to sign for a new car every three months in her name, pocketing the money, and will eventually leave her with a debt. I'm 95% sure this is a joke. Only 95 <laughs> Maybe. Before I had the test. Maybe, maybe. So, not immediately after eating. But, um... What if... Hold on. This sounds super sketchy, and I don't mean it to, like, come across in any particular way. What if Foodie's siding for these cars, Snoopy's on selling them, but Foodie's just kind of being held with the bathwater? Like, maybe they weren't actually hers to... Or his to sell. <laughs> What if she just leased a car and then he sold it? <laughs> and then he pockets the money. And then she has to lease another one. Well, it's an endless cycle of cars. <laughs> yeah, mashallah, I'm glad for that. <laughs> um, I now have an oxygen sat meter and a heart rate meter. Everything seems normal there. Especially after, if I don't take my inha in inhalers, my oxygen sat is like sometimes 95, 96. But when I take them, then it goes up to like 99, you know? Mm, just cars all the way down, Lottie. Depends. It's like turtles. So, anyway, yeah, I know I don't always take the best care of my health. I don't think anyone's perfect in that way. <clears throat> I do plan on uh, working on that, but obviously this meal, no. <laughs> um, I'm still trying to figure that out. Fast food is probably the hardest <laughs> unicorn exactly for me to kick. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> all right, guys, I guess that's it for now. Um, yeah, I really miss you guys. I'll go live again soon at some point. That car point is a good talking point, point, though. It is interesting. And it does kind of assist in putting some timeline shenanigans stuff together. Like, I'm still I'm still very confused about when Foodie told us she sued the Kuwaiti court system. And on TikTok, I just haven't had the time, so... that was, That's the one that's really just... But, yeah, in. anyway. <laughs> thank you for having dinner with me and watching me scarf down food. I was really hungry. It was fine. I can't wait to see the next car. All right, moving on quickly to the next mukbang. This is homemade Canadian poutine. You wanted slop? I can get you slop. Let's watch Foodie Cook. Yay. Where did the Beezer Spray Company go? It still exists, but from all our understanding, Snoopy no longer works for the perfumery. Hello? Or maybe does, and maybe they've just had to make things really subtle because they don't want to draw attention to it. Ooh, foodie booties. <laughs> hey there, Beezers. No, boo, go away. Skip it. And homemade. Hello. Oh, God. Okay, calm down. <laughs> Welcome back to my kitchen. So loud. Today, I'm making the long-awaited poutine homemade. Oh, thank God. I can finally breathe. Now, I made something similar with roasted potatoes, oh God, but I'm going to make uh, what, I, what, what I have available. I don't have cheese curds here, unfortunately, or I would be using them, but I do have shredded mozzarella, which you can also use in a potato. Um, I'm not a total potato snob, maybe a little bit, but that's my right as a Canadian, so <laughs> anyway. Ma'am, it's cheese and gravy on fucking potatoes. It's not that deep. It's really not that deep. It is it's it's a it's not even a kebab. It's it's just it's 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 Canadian street food, right? <laughs> I have available. I don't have cheese curds here, unfortunately, or I would be using them. But I do have shredded mozzarella. Every conversation I've ever had with a Canadian, specifically, it has been poutine is only ever good at like three o'clock in the morning after a night out. That's why I compared it to a kebab because in Australia, that's what you do. Three o'clock in the morning, you go and get a kebab if you've been out on the piss, as we say. Which you can also use in a poutine. Um, I'm not a total poutine snob, maybe a little bit, but that's my right as a Canadian, so <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so I had some russet potatoes Great. soaking in some, like an ice bath, cold water. Those are very thick potatoes. Get rid of some of the starch. We're going to blanch these fries on about 300 degree oil. And then 
No, I don't have a thermometer. I just read that somewhere and now I'm pretending to be knowledgeable. Lol. Oh my goodness, you're so quacky. We're going to refry them with about 350 degree oil. Okay, so I have a bowl of... Ma'am, you have a whole ass air fryer back there. Do you know what you need to do? Blanch and wash the potatoes in water, get the starch out, spray a fistful with a little bit of um, oil, chuck it in the air fryer, 20 minutes, boom bang done. Repeat the process. Potatoes, this is about three large- Why does she make things so hot? Why are we, f why are we frying potatoes in a vat of oil? Large rest of potato sliced up, which gives you, which yields a lot of potato, okay? And hey Mick, good to see you. Thick indeed. And, uh, I have a plate lined with paper to be ready to catch those. All right, so. Just got the hat back on. Where's the apron? Where'd that go? What we're gonna do here. I mean, this is great content. I live for foodie cooking. It's fucking hilarious. Is we're going to. Oh no, she's still got the boo boo on her thumb. I wonder what she did. I think it's a burn. I think it's a burn. I think it's possibly an oil burn. Fry in the. Or maybe cream. Maybe hot cream burn. Oil now. I have some pure sunflower oil. That doesn't seem like enough for that big of a pot. There's a little bit of water from where I washed the pot. So I'm gonna dry that well because you don't wanna be assaulted by sunflower oil. Not the best way to go. Oh my gosh, he's the handsomest man. I have a song called Handsomest Man. Bloody. <laughs> In case you didn't know. Oh, maybe Julia bit her, or Howie. Maybe Howie bit her. All right, so we're gonna put <laughs> some oil here. Okay. Oh, that's cute though, Annie. I could under I could understand it being quite good after ice skating for sure. It was very cute. Okay. We're gonna put that on like medium high-ish kind of heat. Okay. We'll let it get hot. Maybe don't touch it with your hand. I'm gonna drain these potatoes. Right. You have a perfectly good air fryer. I do not understand. Air fried air for fried fries are great. They're great. Have some beef bouillon. Get that open and ready. She seems confused, as if she doesn't know where she is today. Look, Papa. Uh huh. Everyone, calm down. It's not nutmeg today. No nutmeg on the fries. I've never cooked fries this way. I'm gonna try it. I don't. I don't know why. I. I honestly don't know why. You know. See what happens. Sure, yeah. What are you doing with your headscarf? I've never cooked fries this way. I'm gonna try it. So she goes to tuck it in. You know, see what happens? She goes to tuck it in and then just says, fuck it. <laughs> Homemade potatoes just taste so much better than um, the frozen ones I find. I don't know why, but I don't know. Like when they're fried really well, they give up. You said you've never done this before. What the fuck are you talking about? The sweetness. You know, see what happens? Look, Papa. I'm not going crazy. I've never cooked fries this way. I've never cooked fries this way. I'm gonna try it. You know, see. What I've never cooked fries this way. What happens? Homemade potatoes just taste so much better than um, the frozen ones I find. I don't know why, but. I've never cooked fries this way. I don't know, like when they're fried really well. They give off a sweetness. I've never cooked fries this way. Help me. I'm stuck. It's yummy. <laughs> Got my trusty fan working overtime. She talks out of shit. <laughs> she There's no wonder she can't remember what she's been talking about. Because she just talks crap. She, she just... She just talks crap. Come on. Oh, hunger pang. Hunger pangs. Really, dear? Is it hunger pain or hunger pang? I have both, whatever it is. Sure, you, yeah, sure. Yeah, okay, yeah. What, what about your backup burger? Where's that? Dump that in the air fryer. Have a little snack. So while we're waiting in eternity for this, a lot of people ask me, why do you cut on the stove? Well, sometimes I do it on the little counter space I have here, but it's very small. But I make do, you know. I'm okay, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's about ready. Right. You know, maybe you should have like heat your oil, heated, heat, heated, heat your oil 
um, before you chopped up the potatoes. Just a just a little advice for next time you do this. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yep. That's Ma'am, that's full. No, okay. And I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna fry them in batches. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Yep, yep, this makes sense. This makes sense in my French vanilla fantasy. Which means I need more oil. A cup of oil and four potatoes. That's gonna, that work. That's exactly how frying things works. Yes. You probably should fry them in batches, but whatever. Yeah, or you know, just like make it easy and use your fucking air fryer. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna let them fry up a bit and I'll be back. That's true, Lily. They're frying up nicely here. I would like to see these potatoes. I you need to see them. blanch them in this round until they're not, you know, like translucent anymore. What? But you don't want them to be brown either. Then they'll be overcooked. Oh, she's trying to make the perfect fry. I'm gonna cut up some cube, tomato, and put some lime juice and salt and pepper as our side. Okay. Hey, Emily. Thanks for being here for 13 months, mate. Emily says, ooh, let's start a fire. <laughs> a grease fire. <laughs> Okay, I think they're about blanched here. <laughs> yeah. Booty, thank you for the super chat. Booty says, a gripe, you can't blanch potatoes in oil, you blanch them in water. I also thought she was using the wrong phrase, so I'm glad, I'm glad we agree. Then they dry quickly when drained and fry up nicely. Also cut them smaller <laughs> and drained. No, you let her know. The, no, I agree. The potato is way too thick. She already blanched them in water, but she didn't dry them afterwards. So they've just gone in... I guess a little wet, moist, a little moist. Um, I don't, I, I don't under, she's double, she's like double frying them, I guess. It's very confusing. Maybe she wrote a recipe for like, like duck fat fried potatoes where you do have to like fry them twice or something. I don't know. Turn that off so we can make the gravy. Oh, these are just floppy. Ma'am, you don't know what you're doing, and that's okay, but like, maybe just look up a tutorial before you try to show us a tutorial. So the blanched potatoes are gonna sit out. That's not, you're using the wrong word. And we're gonna make the, uh, we're gonna make the gravy now. You'd probably be better off making fries in the microwave at this point. No, actually that's not true. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, so, we're gonna melt. Butter, of course, the primary ingredient in gravy. Some butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, medium heat. Okay. Oh my goodness. I... She's she's going to end me. <laughs> hey Lockie, thank you so much for the super chat, mate. That's incredibly kind. That's not at all required, but very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. Um, Lucky says, advice on someone telling you they want you to lose weight before they get into a relationship with you. I've lost 20 kilos and that still isn't enough, and I've lost all confidence. What would you do in this situation? Um all right, Lockie, that's a tough one, mate. I th think, I think the bigger part of that conversation is that how do I say this? That's a complex one because I'm assuming by the way that you've written the comment that you aren't actively in a relationship with this person, but you're looking to be in a relationship with this person. The fact of the matter is sometimes we're not always in the position that we um that we should be in to find a relationship and other times relationships will just find us this is just my my history my experience um i don't necessarily think that uh putting additional pressure on changing yourself for someone else is ever all that help helpful um, I definitely never found it helpful for me. Other people's expectations of me do not drive my own motivation. Um, that has to come internally. And I can't imagine pressure uh, being applied by from an external person onto, onto you to, to change, I guess, um, would necessarily give you a strong foundation of a relationship. Personally, if that's how my life was going, I'd be probably a little bit resentful. I'd probably question like a lot of stuff going into a relationship like that, I'd question whether or not, you know, they actually like me as a person, if they're going to like me in 
And I'm a long-term thinker, right? So I, I would be like, is someone going to like me in a year's time if something changes? In two years' time, what happens in five years' time? What happens if I'm in an accident? What happens if, like, I, I don't stick to my, my goals and my priorities? Will this person support me through these things? Personally, I don't, yeah, I don't see... I don't see changing for another person as the best um, kind of... Mm, the best environment, I guess, for a relationship. Other people's mileage and motivations will absolutely vary. So just take take what I say as my own history and my own grain of salt, I guess. Um, but yeah, understand that you're, you're worth love and you're worth relationships and you're worth attention. And just because it's, it might not be the right time or person doesn't mean that it won't happen down the track. But I, I honestly think that you should... Um, that you should find the motivation for yourself. And, and if you, if you have a goal and want to work on yourself and for yourself, that's great. If you do it for another person, you do, I think possibly run the risk of, um, not, not owning your, your power and your worth, I guess. Yeah. Uh, (laughs) lucky. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Lucky says I'm not in a relationship with him. He only told me six months. After getting, he only told me six, I'm not in a relationship with him. He only told me six months after getting with him. Um, look, honestly, Lockie, I would put a pin in that. I'd put a pin in that. That's what I'd do. Put a pin in that. I'd explore the great wide world of, of relationships and people and because we're all interesting and complex and all of that. Um, and I don't think any individual out there should be pre- putting pressure on you to do a thing that isn't within your own uh, sights your own goals. Um, and if that person is willing to support you in all of those things, great. Um, if that person is the primary motivating force behind big decisions in your life, put a pin in that, come back to it later down the line. Yep. (laughs) Yeah, I will. I, that would be a, that would be a no from me in short. Thank you for the super chat. Okay. And I hope everything works out and please feel free to let us know and chat. I have no doubt has some excellent, um, advice for you as well. Yes. Should be using a non-metallic whisk. Yes, I know. <laughs> but I won't need the stick. Yeah, chat. You're all wonderful. Thank you for thank you for coming in with the um, the good vibes and the good advice. I appreciate you all. Um, I don't have one. So what can you do, right? I added a lot of butter, but I'm gonna make. Also, Chantal's loud. I'm so sorry. I have to go back to... I have to, I honestly have to go back to butter and gravy. <laughs> JJ, thank you for being here for 11 months. I appreciate it. JJ says, good advice, Poppy. Love to Lockie. Love right, uh, love right back, JJ. And thank you. Love to Lockie. 100%. Chat, can we get some flowers and some love for both JJ and Lockie? Thank you. I appreciate it. Whisk. Yes, I know. <laughs> but... I won't eat this thing. Um... Oh. Are she playing this terrible music? I don't know. This that one. This it sounds like it should be playing in the background of like a dive bar in a nineties movie. So what can you do, right? <laughs> I added a lot of butter, but I'm gonna make a pretty big butter? batch of gravy. You can always refrigerate it. This is probably almost six tablespoons of butter. Fuck! Why? Just start with one. <laughs> I'm so confused. Like that. One tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of flour. Start there. If you need more, move forward. All right. We're gonna add about equal for. That's very good advice, Lottie. Yes. Uh, gravy. I mean for flour. Oh, you think the mu- music's to cover the breathing? Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree. I mean, I can still hear her breathing through it. From the driving scene in Dumb and Dumber, Mick. That's very apt, I think. Yes. Hey, Miss Help. Start with that. And we're gonna make a roux. I'm trying not to scrape too hard the pan, but just get that raw flour taste out. Hey, Juniper. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can smell the flour cooking. So I'm gonna add some hot water. I'm 
I'm so confused. What the fuck is she doing? We've got a whisk attachment to a hand beater we've never fucking seen. We're adding water to a roux in... Uh, like, the easier thing to be... It wouldn't really matter that much, but just add your grey box cubes, bouillon, stock cube, whatever the hell you want to call it, to your water first. Let your roux, like, go from not yellow, at least get it blonde. What is going on? Deep broth. Bring it up to a gentle boil. She's making gravy, Juniper. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh, Voodoo, I have no idea. I honestly think that they um, they ditched the hot and spicy box pretty quickly and probably left half of their stuff behind there. Because we haven't seen... We've barely seen anything. Like, she bought knives. She bought plates. Well, I guess the, there's one plate there. Probably better to dissolve your bouillon beforehand, but again, I'm lazy. <laughs> oh, I also need to add some more to shirt. Just uh -huh. a dash of that. Yeah. Some black pepper. Oh, God. Okay. The whisk on the, um, on the Teflon is really doing it for me, hey? I'm gonna have a Foodie, you should get yourself a cast iron pan. You should do that. Ketchup? You should do that. Ketchup in the gravy. Yep. No. <sighs> I don't need to go back and rewatch the ketchup in the gravy. I'm 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 in pain. Some Baileys. That fucking Baileys, of course. <laughs> I'm, gonna look, I'm gonna have gravy for days. Oh well. Brown. Slop. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, I, I'm entertained as hell, Ellen. Don't get me wrong. But, like, this this gravy is made with Bailey's Worcester sauce, ketchup, and sleeve. So we're going to just <laughs> let that boil a bit. All right, now while this is simmering, I'm going to put the... What time do you think this is happening? Like, 2 o'clock in the morning? Oil on... This very much feels like a me in my not-so-great times, you know? Like high heat on this pan back here and fry the potatoes. Thought it was dangerous when I was learning to make pancakes because I was like, I can make these in like 30 seconds at any time of day. Fortunately, I don't. Um, but she's making gravy real quick. Real quick. That's speed. Um, Lockie, thank you again for the super chat, mate. You can just tag me. It's okay. But thank you for the um, support. I appreciate it. Lockie says, thank you for all the nice comments and advice. It's our pleasure, mate. Anytime you need. If you ever got a question, you let us know. We're here for advice. It's not always great advice. Well, at least from me. But chat's pretty good. So trust them. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. And I, I, look, everything will be fine. Everything will be great. You look after yourself. Because you should. Um, Christo, thank you for the super chat as well. Christo says, hi, Zach and chat. What did I just walk into? Is she still locked up in her home by her loving husband? Yeah, she probably doesn't have a key for this place yet, actually. No, she's making gravy. She's making gravy because it's a hard thing to get in Kuwait. So she's decided to learn how to do that in a pan. And we've got a roux that's not cooked at all, uh, followed by water, followed by bouillon cubes, followed by Worcester sauce, tomato sauce, bay leaves, and sleeve. That's the recipe so far. One last time. Okay, now the fries go in. It's a mutant funk. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now I made my little salad. Yeah. Well. Hmm. Little snacky snack. You know. Love a snack. Okay, I think the gravy is done. So I'll just put it on low. My god, the world's smallest water bottles. They fucking send me every time. Have some water. I need to know how much is in this. It's 100 mil. I reckon it's 100 mil. Get a new plate for the oil. And again. She put ketchup in gravy. She sure did, graveyard. I'm so sorry. I'm going to use the mozzarella. Mick, thank you for gifting a channel membership as well, mate. I appreciate you. And welcome or welcome back to... Ella. Hello, Ella. Please make sure you thank the lovely Mick for their gift. Thanks, mate. Smells like a chip stand. Smells like a chip stand? I don't know, mate. I don't trust this gravy. Does anyone else trust it? Well, like, 
what do y'all think? Six tablespoons of butter in this gravy? Someone, like, how? Someone put into words what this tastes like, because I can't think of anything but garbage. Uh, Steph, thank you for the super chat as well. Steph says, anyone else have Paul Kelly stuck in their head? Um, I do not. No, but thank you for the super chat. Uh, and Huggers, thank you for the super chat as well. Huggers says, can someone be so kind as to ring a bell at the part where I'm so, where I'm so supposed to be jealous of Chantel's life? I keep missing it. Well, don't you know, she doesn't need you to be jealous. She's just living her true, authentic life. And um, uh, her her loving husband takes care of her and neener, neener. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I'll try to find... I don't actually have a bell. Would you take a kazoo whistle? How about that? <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. And Sarah, thank you for gifting five general memberships, mate. I appreciate it. And I hope you're having a lovely day. Sarah, uh, and welcome and welcome back to Katie, Hammy, uh, Radioactive Llama, Courtney, and Terry. Thank you all so much for being here. And please make sure that you thank the lovely Sarah. Love, Sam, for the gifted memberships. Thanks, mate. Appreciate you. <laughs> you know the brown paper wrapper the chips come in at carnivals? My mind thinks it tastes like that. Yeah, I could see that. Like, dusty grease. Yeah. Whenever I was young, there was nothing I loved more than the chip cart, the french fry stand, or chip truck, we called it, the chip truck, coming around the corner. I even remember... I'm sorry, what? A chip... like a chipmobile? When it comes to food, I remember a lot about my childhood. <laughs> Probably not any surprise. Like, wait, wait, hold up. Hold the phone. Like an ice cream truck, but for chips? Surprise to you. Is that what she's talking but about? But I come around the crescent and turn around in front of my place. They had that neighborhood on lockdown. At about 4 p.m. Chip truck. A chipmobile. <laughs> A Mr. Chippy. <laughs> oh, wow. Canada's wild. Right after school, pretty much, and, uh... A chip truck after school. Oh boy. You know, I would beg my mom, can I have like, I think it was like two dollars at the time, two fifty for a puts in. And that was it was the best. This is before food trucks. That's what I was thinking. I'm thinking it's a it's an ice cream van. We have ice creams over here, I guess because it's so hot. Chips make sense if it's cold. Like I think it was like two dollars at the time, two fifty for a puts in. And that was it was the best taste I ever had. Say I think it was called like it was just amazing. I think it was like Senge Patat. It was uh, around in my hometown for like years. Right. So, right, a local neighborhood joint. Very, very, very delicious putin. The gravy was really brown and rich. That's what I was trying for today, but whatever. <laughs> um, very delicious. I want to know what I don't want to know, but I, that, honestly, y'all, can you see it? Hold on. I just need you to check this out for a moment. Where is it? Where's the gravy? Here. Gravy. Gravy. He says raising. Okay, so does that not look like um, the grease that like raises to the top, like when you're washing a really greasy pan and all of the fat like comes off the pan and sits on the top of the water? Does that not look like like soapy grease sludge? Yes. Okay. I'm glad we agree. <laughs> Looks like bath. It does. I mean, the leaf doesn't help. <laughs> it does. Yeah. No, not for me. A good gravy is essential. Good gravy, good cheese, good french fries. I mean, when you have a dish that That's all this dish is. It's potato and curds and gravy, ma'am. It's not that fucking deep. That's only- Why is she so obsessed with poutine? <laughs> like, I feel like she talks about it every week. At least once a week. Ugh. Thank you so much for gifting your channel membership, mate. I appreciate it. Welcome or welcome back to... Miss Hell. Lovely to see you. Uh, please make sure you thank the lovely- Ugh. For the gifted membership. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Free ingredients. They have to be primo ingredients, you know? I miss someone. Thanks, Ellen. God, it's busy today. Um, 
There we go. 47. Lovely to see you. Hello. Good morning. I hope you and your partner are doing well. Thank you for being here for 14 months. 47 says, ah, 14 months. I love it here. Love having you here, mate. I hope you're having a great time. And thank you for hanging out. Ah, uh, sorry about the delay. And Lux, hello. Thank you for the super chat. Lux says, I'm enjoying the cooking content, but please, Chantal, look up a recipe. For the love of God, I wish you would. Because I feel like a recipe, if we knew what recipe she was trying to follow, we could at least pull it up and be like, okay, is she doing the thing? Is she following instructions? But defiant as ever, Chantal seems to just like throw random turmeric and paprika and bay leaves into everything. It's very confusing. Um, it would be so much more fun. Her members could send her recipes and she could cook them. She could do that, but she doesn't like her, uh, which it, she doesn't actually have that many members anymore. She doesn't like her audience either. So it's a hard, it's a hard gig for foodie. You know, she just wants to cook the food that she wants to eat in the easiest way possible without having to think or remember of anything. And she makes content out of it. So it's fun. So. Now they're getting shenanigans. It truly is like, no offense to poutine lovers. I understand you're in here, but it just sounds like loaded fries without the load, you know? It's lo it's just it's just gravy and fries with squeaky cheese. I don't understand. I do not get the appeal. Mashed potato and gravy, Amy. Look, let's I get on board. I love mashed potato and gravy. It's great, but no fries. Ugh. Uh, Lockie, welcome back to the channel as a member, mate. Appreciate it, and thanks for hanging out with us. Nice and golden brown. Uh, Misty Rain, I wish, even before she learns what combination of spices should be put together, I wish she would learn to bloom some of her spices so that she wasn't just adding tablespoons of spice that's going to do sweet fuck all because she hasn't, like, fried it off. Bonkers. Bonkers! Nice and golden brown. Lottie, I do remember that. That was fun. <laughs> Reminds me when I worked at my first job, New York Fries. I was like 16 and I was on my own pretty much. So, you know, I had to work and I got this job through a job center and we had to make fries, but we always had to, we had like three steps in the fryer, New York Fries. The blanching, then like it's fried three times their potatoes. Different uh, temperatures. She keeps saying blanching. Temperatures. And we had to hand cut the fries, russet potatoes. They were Idaho potatoes. Uh, Idaho and russet potatoes, the same thing. And Albert's cheese curds, local cheese curds, and thick brown, but it was vegetarian gravy, so it was fake, but it was delicious. New York fries has the best poutine, I'm telling you. How are you doing? Is that why she's obsessed with poutine? Do you reckon it was the Mr. Chippy or was it New York fries? Which one do you reckon did it? And gravy? Oh, it's got that gravy skin. Nikki says, Poppy, this isn't poutine. This is called disco fries. Without cheese curds, not poutine. Ingredients matter. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I understand your sentiment and I agree 100%. At the end of the day, both both dishes are made with fries, gravy, and a cheese product. So once it reaches, you know, once it's down Chantel's esophagus, it's all the same. But I understand it's not poutine. You're right. You're very right. I'm a sir. <laughs> I wish I had some kind of beef bones or something, but I don't. So as long as you have a fat, flour and broth. You can make an all right one. I don't trust this. I don't trust this. And my shady brain is asking, do you think Chantel's made this before in the middle of the night and drunk it? I don't want the answer to that. I know the answer to that and I don't want to talk about it. All right, they're done. Let me get those out. I don't want to talk about it. Look at that. It's poutine my way. <laughs> Golden french fries. A pea hands poutine. <laughs> Yummy. The flour was barely cooked. It was still, like, the butter was still yellow. It was not, there was no cooking of that roux. More effort making your own everything, but it's worth it in the end. <laughs> Sometimes in the middle of cooking, I'm like, oh, screw this. I just want to give up and order takeout, but I don't. What a wild mindset. I get so in the zone when I'm cooking. What did I cook last night? What did I make? I made steak. I made steak and I made um, potatoes, which I parboiled first. And then I finished them in the pan with a little bit of oil. But I also made, oh, not oil, sorry, butter. I made a butter and miso 
like glaze for the potatoes. So parboiled them first and then moved them, like smushed them down, moved them over to the pan. And then did miso butter and chili glaze on the potatoes. And that was really good. And then what else did I make with that? A salad. It was really nice. Anyway, I lost my point. Oh, my point was like in the middle of cooking, I'm a, I'm a clean as I go kind of guy. So like at no point in time when I'm cooking, do I ever stop to just stand there and wait for oil to heat. <laughs> wow. Look at them. They smell amazing. They look like fried potato. All right, let's plate it up. It's really good bacon. I love me so. Colleen, thank you for being here for two months. What'd I miss? <laughs> Lovely to see you. Um, Chantel's making bad gravy. Sloppy gravy. Bad, bad, just bad gravy. Now we're gonna share. They do look oily. I'll give it that. Put in. <laughs> A large put in, so, all right. All right, so who's gonna come do the dishes? This hat is unrecognizable. A large put in, so, all right. All right, so who's gonna come do the dishes? <laughs> All right, let me plate this. You won't see a lot of me. I remember you. You're the one who made my dreams come true. A few kisses ago. Lots of cheese. Oh my God, ma'am. Why are you so aggressive? I remember you. You're the one oh, who said just, I just a little more. love you too. Oh. Who are you singing to? <laughs> Didn't you know? No, we have. We're not. We're not done. More cheese. Mm. Just, a, just a smidge more. I remember to this. What is she singing? What is she singing? And bells and stars that fell like the rain out of the blue. When she's singing to the food. No, but what she's singing though. Um, 47, thank you for the super chat. 47 says, we had a food truck, old ice cream truck that would come up and down our street. It sold hot dogs. Ooh, every chip you could imagine, candy, ice cream, and pickles. That sounds fun. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a Mr. Chippy. <laughs> that sounds fun though. What a good idea. Thank you for the super chat, lovely. My life is through. Okay, but what song is this? I Remember You by Frank Ifield? Ifield? An old country song. And the angels ask me to recall. Why is she singing that? Why is she singing that song? Ma'am, that's enough the gravy. Of them all. No, no, it's soaking. It's sopped. Ma'am, stop. And I will tell them I remember. She's <laughs> why you should never eat a potluck. It's true. Oh, look at the fun little sandals, socks, shoes. Uh-huh. Here we go. We can. Let's try a bite. It's not poutine, ma'am. <laughs> she, at this point in time, she, like, the potatoes just is just a delivery device for the cheese and gravy. Beauty bite. That can't taste good. I'm sorry. That can't taste good. That it's impossible that that would taste good. Mmm. Delicious. I doubt it. Actually, so good. Actually, a fucking lie. I love it. The fries are crisp and tender. That's a lie. The gravy is really good. Not too salty anymore. But good. Not too salty anymore? What do you mean? Flavor. What do you mean, not too salty anymore? What did you do to dilute the salt? All right, I'm going to... Strange Hippie, hello, thank you for joining the channel as a member. Appreciate it, mate. I'll feed this to my husband. We're gonna share with the salad. We're gonna enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful- It's not a salad. You cut up like four sticks of cucumber and a tomato, dude. Full day. Bye. Okay, bye. All right, what a shame we didn't get to mukbang that one. But I'm assuming Snoopy wasn't home and Chantal just ate that all to herself. Because it's Chantal. All right, on to tuna sub, buffalo chicken bites and chips mukbang. This was just four hours after the, uh, cooking content. So that's fun. Isn't that fun? Have fun. How are fries tender? Hello, foodie beauties. Mm, soft in the middle? <laughs> Hi guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. 
today I am having Substop, which is like a franchise here. It's the old Subway, I think, but it's not Subway. Um, Snapple. I haven't had Snapple in like forever. Um, if you're gonna ask the time way. frame, yeah, it was four a four hour upload difference. We're, we're gonna eat with our hands today. So I was craving um, a. So was this breakfast? I'm confused. Sub. And we her timeline's all over the place. If I could pay more attention, I could tell you, but I just can't. Have here. These are. Um, Kitco kettle cooked chips. My dear, the title's on the other side. Just turn around. Burger chips? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just turn oh, they around. They are kind of. Kettle cooked sea salt and cider vinegar. I love sea salt and some kind of fancy vinegar chips. Uh -huh. <coughs> Excuse me. Red Rock Deli. Sea salt and balsamic vinegar. Real good. Oh, I have it. Too good. A... Um, tuna sub, which I've been craving for some reason. Tuna sub, tuna sub. And we have some. Is she not eating Subway because of the boycott thing? Because she was drinking a Coke just before. I'm quite confused now. Buffalo chicken bites. Ah. Yum. Great. Snoopy will be very impressed. All right, so let's dig in. That's a six inch tuna. And let's pour these chips on it. The chips are cool, mate. It's sugar free. <laughs> have a garbage bag here already. Uh, uh, Ambie, come back. I miss you. As you go is like a huge helper. I used to just leave everything laying around, as you guys know. Do you, okay, so what's the theory on the mukbang table? Do you think it's just out to be hosed down, or did she throw it out because she like stained it? All right. So. Or she couldn't be bothered wiping it, so she just threw it out. Probably that. One. I have a touchy subject today. Oh, not a touchy subject. Something that a lot of people online like to talk about, but what you probably don't know for me is that I don't like to talk about it. I don't even like to think about it. This is why we're going to talk about Cuba. Beauty Oh, you think she broke it? Maybe. Bite buffalo. Dip them in the buffalo. Mmm. Not bad. Tuna. Has cucumber. Black olives. Pickles. Lettuce. Hey, Sarah. Mixed cheese. Um, Southwest sauce. <laughs> Lottie. They're taking it out for an adventure. Mmm. <laughs> um, Parmesan oregano bread. Uh-huh. Eating again. Her eyes look so weird. Like, not weird as in weird. Just weird as in different. I've been... She's turned a filter off or something. One of them that, like, makes her eyes bigger. Because I swear her... Like, who is this person? Who is... Hold on. Wait, that's going to be her arm. Those are chicken bits. Like, who is this person? I'm not... I'm still not used to this face. Who's this person? It's fucking weird. It's because I've, I've watched Chantel for years. Much like many of you. For years and her face has morphed and changed and now all look all of ours do and that's fair and that's the power of age and makeup and hydration and health and all of that stuff but it's also filters because it's insane it's insane the difference Chantal looks in the last like two months wild go eat your happy cat yeah Ma'am, you have some lettuce on you. <laughs> nice and cold. I want to talk about Cuba a bit. But I've got a sandwich in front of me, so I can't get more than four words out at a time. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Julia, steal it. Steal it. Take the sandwich. Take the tuna. Ew, you fucking gross. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to watch this in reality time speed and watch this gross human being bite a chip so ferociously half of it busts out of her mouth mm. 
Ew! Taking it back. One more. I'm just gonna slow this down a little bit. I need to see it. Oh God. Sleep paralysis, welcome. Oh, careful foodie, you'll lose a finger. He's always calm down. It's not going anywhere. Oh, sorry, you go. <laughs> because I've seen some comments from people. No, the lapel microphone is not back. This is the sound of foodie across the table. Saying that I should go to Cuba again. No, fuck off. <laughs> and be happy. Don't go to Cuba. You should go back to Canada and pay your taxes. That's where I think you should go. Sorry, Canada. And I swear, in the same breath, people will say, Her head is such a strange shape. Just in this moment, it's just... I think she's honestly pulled off most of the filters, apart from the skin smoothing filter. You were so happy in Cuba. And then... She was drunk out of her mind most of the time in Cuba. Pick apart my Cuba rage. So... I thought about... Oh, see, Lottie, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. She looks annoying. I tell you, maybe Gad. <laughs> How I was really feeling. Okay, I need to. This is a group discussion now. Chat, stand up. I was reflecting back on Cuba a little bit while I was listening to this early today. I'm convinced that old mate had a ticket to Cuba. I'm. Well, maybe he couldn't. Could he? No, he couldn't because of the criminal stuff. Right? I'm convinced Foodie was trying to get old mate to Cuba. <laughs> oh, I can't remember the histories all that well now. But when she mentioned this and when she was talking about this, I was like, right, I need the timeline of events. What had happened leading up to it? Foodie Beauty was delusional that old mate had moved in with Dee Dee. Foodie Beauty hung out with old mate and Dee Dee. Foodie Beauty found a grey kitty cat and tried to eat it and then squirted on a purple mattress and then, like, the next day left for Cuba. Something along those lines. I'm pretty sure the purple mattress squirt happened before that. Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> that's the history of it. And I, at the time, was quite heavily convinced that Chantal was like, no baby, run away with me, come to Cuba with me, I've got a place for th with three bre beds, and that was the confusing part when she went live from the place that she was staying, understanding like it's it's an all-inclusive resort, like it's meant for families, it's meant for all sorts, but there were three beds in that room, she's a single person, I don't understand why there were three beds in that room. <laughs> I think she tried to get old mate and or Dee Dee, Probably not Dee Dee, though, because they were fighting. <laughs> and doing other stuff. Um, to go to Cuba with her. To be, to be like, look, baby, I can show you the world. Come with mommy. I'm going to... Mommy? I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna take you on holiday to Cuba. <laughs> Lottie, thank you so much for gifting five channel memberships, mate. I appreciate it. Welcome all, welcome back to uh, Jesse Calypso. Lord Baroque, lovely to see you, my friend. Hello. Uh, Robert California and Daisy, thank you all so much for being here. Please make sure you thank the fabulous Lottie Mac um, for those gifted memberships. Thanks, mate. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Cuba Resorts, Cuba itself, has the potential to be very um, fun. Yeah, Chantel went to the beach that one time. She saw a barracuda. There was something about ricotta. She got real drunk, went and sang Madonna, and then got real drunk and made some poor life choices. Oh, we met Aggie. Aggie and to uh, Tori Lynn and... I can never remember the guy's name. I only remember Tori Lynn because she called her toilet. Because it started with T. And then there was the guy's name, who I can't remember. Chantel went to Cuba because Dee Dee went to Cuba and wanted to prove she could go to shenanigans, you're... you're 
probably bang on with that, yes. Duncan, that's right, Duncan and Toilet. <laughs> Poor Toilet. <laughs> it was my first time traveling alone, and that way. <laughs> I'm here to set the record straight about Cuba, by the way. I'm not here to fascinate or entertain any of Foodie's lies. No. I went with Sunwing Vacations. She did. Hi, pretty. She did, and on the second day, she wanted to go to the Sunwing desk to ask whether or not she could return home early, because she hated it. And then she found alcohol. It's a coping mechanism, I suppose. Not a great one. I had just gotten my Terminated channel back. But then... I brought with me. Didn't a guy at the buffet give her an entire cake? Yes. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> because you can't escape it. All, even though you're like you're going on vacation, leave all your problems behind. My problems followed me to Cuba. She also took a new laptop that she gave away to someone. For some reason. Because materialistic needs are the devil and people who like relish suck. <laughs> Pretty sure she lost her earpo earpods and her watch there at the same time too, right? Or was that all different? Did they go to different trade? <laughs> it's funny because it's a trade. <laughs> and that means something else too. Um, Lord Broke, thank you so much for the shinies, mate. I appreciate you. That's not at all required, but very much appreciated. Thank you for gifting 10 shinies. Welcome or welcome back to Living, Lofting, Crafting. Just me, Espresso. Who else do we have here today? Catherine, lovely to see you. Siobhan, Val, hello. Veruca, Ellie, DG, and Ryan, or Rin. Thank you all so much for being here. Please make sure you thank um, the lovely Lord Baroque, the monarch of shinies for the gifted channel membership. Thanks, mate. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a good day. So let's say weekend, not fine. I was still attached to a narcissistic abuser. Um... <clears throat> By atta <clears throat> let's not get too hard into hard mm, into um, attached. You were still attached to a narcissistic abuser. You still voluntarily met up with the two people who were all sorts to engage in activities by choice. Thank you, Z's. That's the right phrase. By choice. And didn't she spend the night there because she was flying out of Montreal? Is that how that worked? I think so. Um. Art Stephen, don't be silly. He was living with another woman. He wasn't sleeping with her. He said that they were just friends. God, Stephen. Jumping to conclusions, I think. Moonface Pondu, lovely to see you. Thank you for being here for 13 months. Moonface says, monthly reminder. Don't be like foodie. Thank you so much for the reminder. Absolutely not. Also, like, if you live your entire life on a live stream, don't then, like, a year and a half later decide to come online and try to clarify it. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. I was getting extremely drunk to escape my feelings. Uh, so Cuba, for those of you who don't know, was... <sighs> we know. I got extremely inebriated. Uh -huh. This was uh, a couple years ago. No, it was a year and a half ago. Was it a year and a half ago? Yeah, didn't her, didn't it get all knocked off in like October or something? And October? I feel like it was October. Before I became a Muslim Reaper. Uh huh. I drank, I bought a bottle of. A year and a half? Thought so. The rum for my mom as a souvenir and I drank it. The whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, choices. Because that's how I used to deal with my feelings. Choices were made. Just drank a big bottle of rum. Drown them out. Oh, March, that's right. Everything black inside of me came out that night in my famous, infamous Cuba rage. Maybe if you don't want your new audience to know about it, you shouldn't try to, like, talk about it. Or if you do want to talk about it, you know what you should do? You should put it back up on your channel so that they can make their own decision. Instead of you lying to them. 
And I regret that. I regret a lot of things I said. And if you were in that chat, and I unfairly cursed at you. Hell no! Why would any- well, no. That chat- her chat is not for me. No, thank you. I apologize. I do. What's the infamous line where she said she'd lie to us and we'd eat it up? Something along those lines. That was said in Cuba, wasn't it? I think so. I'm really sorry about that. No, you're not. You're not sorry. There were people, like, antagonizing me because they knew they could get me to rage. <laughs> it's other people's fault the way I acted. Easily, but... I shouldn't have drank that, and I shouldn't have used that as an excuse to excuse what I was saying. She'll manipulate the hell out of us. That's it. Hmm. I had hate in my heart. Stuff of love. The way she daintily dusts off the salt and oil from her fingers onto her clothing, it truly is a mark of a mad person. She keeps doing it. <laughs> What I was going. Look at her hand. She's. <laughs> Once you see it, you can't not notice it. <laughs> From what I was going through with certain people. Oh, look, fuck, we have a napkin today. Bonus was, character. You know, I felt used and abused, and I felt used in Cuba as well. It is Jack, yes. I love that to happen. Why was why are we back to talking about this again? I, I know why. I saw it in the chat. I know why. Get anything but... out of that? Really? If I think about it. It's like I just wanted to please others as if some form of self validation, you know? In what I'm sorry, Foodie, you're gonna have to help me out. In what way were you pleasing others in any of this situation? I'm, I'm very confused. If I think about it. It's like I just wanted to please others as if some form of self-validation, you know? What are you talking about? What is she talking about? I had little self-respect. Yeah. And I didn't heal much. The ocean was nice. In Cuba? Are you expecting to? Except for the giant barracuda that almost attacked me. <laughs> That's the ricotta. Nature is healing. I had fun singing. Yeah, JJ, I, if, if she is meant to be talking about pleasuring men... Um... <laughs> What a strange phrase to say. In this context, she's going about it kind of weird. Because, like, we lived through all of that. And uh, smug feudy... Feudy. Yeah, feudy. Um, feudy era beauty. Smug feudy was certainly the one to rub her conquests in all of our faces. As if anyone would give a shit. So much so that she decided to splay out used condoms in the luxury villa as some kind of trophy over the fact that she had slept with um, Big Turk. You know, the 20 year old who like asked her for money in the end, according to her. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes. Not used, opened. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair definition. And in my darkest, in the darkest of times that you're going through, God will be the light. Because I did find God there. Yeah, the fake staging of condoms. That's what it was. She laid them out like trophies. God helped me through. Because I, I would have completely lost it if I didn't have that comfort. And I didn't see God every time I looked out at the ocean. 
So when she first went into the ocean and found God, that was before drinking the entire bottle of rum and raging at the internet, right? Right. God found her and said, you, you're going to put on a show. I was lonely. That's why I live streamed like the whole time. Okay. I think the reason she was lonely because old mate didn't go with her to Cuba. When I went off, off of my live stream, I was left with myself and my thoughts and my loneliness and... Uh-huh. Am I watching this sped up or not? Here we go! I am. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, she was doing all, all sorts of stuff. Didn't she take, like, a photo while she was in Cuba as well, just to prove some kind of point about something, something, bottoms? Yup. Yup. Yeah, I hate my brain sometimes. Sometimes I, sometimes I wish I could just not remember some things. Hmm. The level of unhappiness I felt, I didn't even realize until I, you know, have some time to reflect. There were some fun moments. Of course. Oh yeah, the doxing of Dee Dee's mum, Yadira. Yes, we did forget to touch on that one. Chantelle is a terrible person. Especially for you guys, because it's entertainment, right? I mean, yeah, but it's also your messy life, like... It's entertaining the way that a spectacle is entertaining. Like, you don't you don't necessarily want it to be happening, but you can't help but not look away. But for me, I remember it a little bit differently than what you guys do. Because we were sober? Probably. I swear she came back online the next morning and she was like, I never said that. I never did that. I didn't say that. What are you all talking about? She's trying to gaslight everyone into thinking that we were the ones remembering her incorrectly when we were on the other end of a live stream. Sometimes I still get lonely, but it's more like if I feel like I'm going through something or experiencing emotions nobody I feel like can understand. Or if Salah's sleeping and I'm like awake. It's not the same kind of loneliness. It's not the like voiding or soul. Chantel felt like there were moments in that rage stream where she seemed she was coming across quite gleeful in how like nasty towards people she was being. Soul kind of existential. And that's how I remember that's that's why I'm not excited to go back to Canada. Because of Cuba? Oh, that's right, Lottie. She did try to react to it, and then she got bored. Because I feel like everywhere I go, everything I do will just be memories of before I came here. But not good ones. Night, Lord Baroque. Sleep well. It was like too See, she should have just watched a clip show version of it. She would have just gotten the best bits. Much past trauma. Which is unfortunate because my family's there. But even, you know, driving around, even going to Ottawa. Will remind me of my grandmother. And I wish I could just pop in and see her. Yeah, she's got a lot of stuff to work through that she hasn't. But, you know, that's somehow our fault as well, I guess. So. Oh, yeah, Ellen, the one where she um, insinuated that Al's wife was sleeping with the four men who lived with them. That one? Yeah. There was no alcohol involved in that one. Well, that was the Cuba. But don't ever get drunk. If you have... Don't be a vile bigot like Chatel. That's better advice. There you go. Really bad things on your mind and in your heart and in your soul. And you just feel like hurting people. That's the truth of it. Chantel thinks she can hurt people with her nasty, nasty words. And she likes to hurt people because it's Chantel. 
because it makes her feel better. And because as much as much posturing as she says about reaction channels saying nasty things and how you know all reaction channels just do it to make themselves feel better because realistically they're just projecting whatever whatever that is Chantel to a T. Chantel wants to drag other people down, talk about people nastily, and make herself feel better all at the same time because that's how she functions. If you're new, there's seven years worth of Chantal to watch and get that cleared up. Uh, hey, Art, thank you for being here for nine months. Art says she just runs from everything. No responsibility. Zero responsibility, mate. Absolutely zero. And she said that in the stream the other day where she was saying, or the content the other day, rather, when she was saying that, you know, she's sick of setting up lives and then running or whatever. Also, what is happening with my mouse? Okay, never mind. We're just going to continue. <laughs> thank you for being here, Art. Any places, like, even for traveling, I don't know, I get triggered. I get really bad flashback vibes uh -huh. when I see any alcohol. So maybe that's why I also like to be here, because alcohol is prohibited. <clears throat> um, okay, correct me if I'm incorrect, but she drank after Cuba Rage, right? Right? Yeah, because I seem to remember that the um, the pumped up kick stream where she blamed the alcohol for antagonizing her entire audience after an international tragedy um, was Moscato, right? And that was after Cuba Rage, right? Yeah, right. Okay, I thought I thought so. Very good. Good to know. Any intoxicants are pretty much prohibited. You know, drugs, alcohol, and as a former addict who's been through some really low times due to that. Oh yeah, when she tried to force herself to kiss Pete's. Oh god. That was very awkward to watch on stream with thousands of other people. Um, I just feel better. feel safer. I feel safer here. Ironically, a lot of you think that I'm in danger, but Kuwait's actually a really safe country. I don't think she's in danger at all. She's in danger from this takeout she eats every day, but other than that... Knock on wood. She just doesn't leave the house. I don't like jinxing things. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway. I know I look tired when I don't have much makeup on. Yeah, but see, Lottie, she'd want to make that into content. Which, to be fair, the curious, like, curious me would not mind watching that. I, put... I am kind of tired. Oh. I don't have much energy, you know, and I feel like just getting up there in age lack of exercise proper exercise routine ma'am i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you now you can't outwork a bad diet let's you wanna you wanna be concerned about your health 95 percent of your concern i think is probably diet related i'm not a professional but you seem to like there seems to be an issue there well so you managed to get cheese on your elbow how'd you do that Eating food that's not the best for energy level <sighs> excuse me yada 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 you also have nothing to do. So, yeah, if you have nothing to do, you're probably going to want to sleep all day. All right, guys. So... Have fun. I guess that's it for this video. Um, I just wanted to share my thoughts on that. Some of the negative things I've gone through in, in Cuba... Um, really Is that like a new person asking her? No, that wasn't. ...really just outweighed for me the positive, and I really wish it wasn't that way. I wish I could just focus on the beach waves and the fun we had singing, you know, La Isla Bonita. But even that- And the buffet, the buffet was fun. You'd get a coffee and then for some reason you got a whole cake. We saw a little bit of the buffet, that was fun. But most of the time she slept through the meal times and she had to eat like the sandwiches and chips that they had for like the late night people. Part of my life I don't like to think about because I had to be like drunk to do those things i had to be inebriated and i just don't to sing to have the courage to to enjoy life you know and i don't need that now and i just um yeah i just it's just a different feeling for me you know i was going through uh no we haven't what's going on a lot of turmoil internally i wasn't fun at all it was very uh, hard very traumatic and i'm still processing a lot of that not in the healthiest ways
you know, and um, maybe you should go speak to a professional. I'm hoping that will change. Go speak to a professional. Were you talking about a therapist not long ago? But being here, being with someone who's super loving and supportive, um, staying away from drugs and alcohol is actually really helping. So, <laughs> and the number one thing, turning to God, you know, having God in my life has, has actually made a huge difference. Like I said, it helped me get through the Cuba. Again, reflecting back on you calling, or sorry, insinuating Al's wife is a whore. That rage is still in you, Chantal, and I hope you're working through it, but I think you need professional assistance. I'm no one, don't listen to me, but, um, you know, after watching years worth of Chantal, I think that's a fair and valid thing to say. Having found some faith, and now that it's even stronger, um, it's, it's, it's immense. I don't feel purposeless, I don't feel hopeless, I don't feel that existential hole, like I said, you know? So, anyway, that's, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Because I have seen a few comments, um, people wishing that I would go to Cuba, book a trip to Cuba that'll solve all your problems. I don't, I don't, I don't think that's what's going to happen, no. <laughs> um, it's like, no, dude, I'm Muslim. No, dude. Um, I know people think that I'm just wearing this as a costume, but that's, I really, I mean, that's your prejudice. That's your, your thought. Um, what? Just because I'm not perfect and I do sin sometimes doesn't mean that I'm not sincere about my belief in Islam, so, <laughs> um, and What's Cuba got to do with that? Also, Cuba wasn't as good of a time as you might remember it, at least not for me. So, anyways, uh, God, I almost want to go back and watch the Cuba rage. People change, people grow. I don't, but, because I think I remember it as astutely, correctly, but still, what's she trying to do here? Oh, people mature. Lindsay, lovely to see you, hello. Sure. You know, thankfully. And I, uh, yeah, just thank you guys for listening. It really means a lot. A beach holiday with Snoopy, maybe. I know you're not like doctor replacements or therapist replacers. Really not. Really none of those things. Absolutely not. Go and speak to someone. It's whatever. But it does help to talk for sure. Yeah, you're not really talking to anyone though. Cause like even on a live stream, you get a lot more social interaction, like talking to the chat, for instance. But when you're just like, video diaring like this i i don't know what you ex like i i understand that you're processing things and getting it out and that's all well and good but um i'm gonna say right now that you would benefit more from a licensed professional who could actually take all of this information and help you work through it instead of you just seemingly gaslighting your audience about what happened in cuba when we were all there all right guys i guess that's about it bye okay bye that's true, buddy. <laughs> All right, chat, I gotta go. It's getting late and I have to go to bed so I can wake up in the morning and go to gym. So thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you all. Thank you for taking the time uh, to watch. If you'd like to hit the like button on the way out, I'd really appreciate that. Hope you have a fabulous day. Make sure you wear sunscreen, drink your water, hug a loved one, take your walks, take your walks, um, and take your snacks. Take all the things. For those of you on the rewatch, I appreciate your comments, opinions, and eyeballs. Chat, you've been lovely and I've been pulpy. I've got to go. 